Hi, my name is Ikuo Tsunoda. I am an assistant professor at the Department of Microbiology and Immunology, Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center, Shreveport, Louisiana, USA. Today, I would like to discuss whether axonal degeneration is good or bad in multiple sclerosis, MS, and introduce to you the inside-out model. This is an outline of my talk on the roles of axonal degeneration in multiple sclerosis. I will start by reviewing autoimmune etiology of MS and its animal model. Then I will talk about the possibility that MS is caused by a virus infection. Next, I will also explain how axons are damaged in each theory using two models, the outside-in versus inside-out models. Lastly, I will contrast the role of axonal damage in the autoimmune model of MS, experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis, EAE, versus the viral model, Tyra's virus infection. In MS, distinct episode or attack occurs at multiple time points as well as at multiple areas in the brain or the spinal cord. So, attacks or lesions are multiple in time and space. Inflammatory demyelination in the brain results in gliosis, that is a firm scar or sclerotic tissue. That's why the disease is called multiple sclerosis. Prevalence of MS is high in Northern European countries such as Scotland and Ireland and the US. Comparing with other countries such as Japan and China, a prevalence ratio of women to men is 2.6 versus 1. This means that 70% of MS patients are female. What is demyelination? In the brain, a neuron has a fiber called the axon. When axons are wrapped by myelin, shown in green, neurons can conduct their impulse more quickly and efficiently. Myelin is made by the myelin-forming cell called an oligodendrocyte. One oligodendrocyte can wrap multiple axons. In MS and its animal models, death of oligodendrocytes or myelin damage results in loss of myelin sheaths. This is demyelination. So, what happens to axons in MS? Axonal damage has been detected in MS not only in demyelinating lesions, but also in adjacent areas that lack demyelination and even in normal appearing wild mother. This has been demonstrated by neuroimaging techniques such as MRI and MR spectroscopy. Axonal damage was also detected by immunohistochemistry using antibodies against markers for damaged axons, non-phosphorylated neurofilament, and amyloid precursor protein. Later, I will show you the data using immunohistochemistry against this non-phosphorylated neurofilament. These methods showed that axonal damage correlates with clinical disability in MS and also axonal damage exists in animal models for MS. An autoimmune hypothesis of MS is that autoimmune responses against myelin cause demyelination. Supportive evidences for this hypothesis are 
first. You can detect T cell and macrophage infiltration in demyelinating regions in MS. Second, myelin specific T cell and antibody responses have been demonstrated in MS. Third, immunomodulatory drugs such as beta serum, that is interferon beta, or tysabri, that is antibody against adhesion molecule VLA4, is effective in some patients with MS. The last evidence is an animal model, experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis, EAE. Experimental autoimmune or allergic encephalomyelitis, EAE, can be induced by injection of myelin antigen such as spinal cord homogenate, myelin basic protein MBP, myelin proteolipid protein PLP, or myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein MOC. Emulsified in complete French adju adjuvant. Today, I will show you EAE induced by MOG. The injection of myelin antigen induces autoimmune responses against myelin sheath, which attack myelin and cause demyelination. EAE has been used as an animal model for MS since EAE is similar to MS both clinically and pathologically. Animals with EAE develop paralysis and show relapsing, remitting, or progressive disease course clinically. Histologically, you can see inflammatory demyelinating regions in the central nervous system CNS. How are axons damaged by autoimmune responses against myelin? First, immune responses against myelin attack the myelin sheaths that wrap and protects the axon. This results in primary demyelination. If inflammation is severe here, this will lead to secondary axonal degeneration in a bystander fashion. Since the region develops from the outside myelin to the inside axon, I would like to call this the outside-in model. In general, many MS researchers believe that this is how axons are damaged in MS. However, I will show you evidence that cannot be explained by this model in the next slide. These are three findings suggesting that axonal damage is independent of demyelination or inflammation in MS. First, Axonal damage is found not only in demyelinating regions, but also in adjacent areas that lack demyelination, and in remyelinated areas, and even in the normal appearing white matter. Since damage in normal appearing white matter is often observed in MS, NAWM becomes a key word in MS research. Second, there are some autopsy reports of MS where axonal damage did not correlate with acute inflammatory demyelination or T-cell infiltration. And lastly, the gray matter, which is neurons but not myelin, is often involved in MS. This is the end of the first part.